Welcome back, Let's Tab 59. Thanks for tuning in. First video of 2024. Thanks for your subscription, your kind comments. I had loads of great ones over Christmas, much appreciated. I uh, hope you all had a great New Year's Eve party, whatever you're doing. Hope you're all safe and recover from everything. So let's move on with a video. So today, as the title suggests, it's uh, surveillance, we'll touch on surveillance and then observation and how we can improve our observation. So surveillance, what are we talking about? Well, there's several types, loads of types of surveillance. I wanna keep it very basic, otherwise this video is gonna go on for ages and I don't wanna do that. So covert, over, uh, covert observation, covert surveillance, that's gonna be a dug in OP. That's what we're talking about on this. Couple of three blokes, four blokes maybe, it could be up to four blokes, dug in at a well-hidden uh, observation post overlooking an enemy position or a place of interest where you think the enemy might be. No one knows we're there, hopefully. And uh, two guys, one observing, one logging, and you're recording everything that you see. Now, that's pretty good if you can do that, if you can actually write down or talk into a voice recorder of what you can see. But it may be dark, the enemy might be very close. There's going to be a time where you observe something from the OP, but there's going to be a short time lapse before you actually record it or write it down. And that's the important bit, that gap between you seeing it and then being able to pull that back out of, what, out of your mind what you saw and record it as accurately as possible. So that's covert observation or covert surveillance. Overt uh, surveillance, overt observation, could you be could be you in a guard tower, a sanger as we call it, overlooking an area, the local people or the enemy, or well, not the enemy, the local people can see the guard tower there, but you're still observing and recording. Well, that's a lot easier because you can have a dictaphone, waffle away into that, or you can write it down in the old OP log. That's not so bad. I'm not too worried about that one. And of course, one really difficult one where you need to observe and then hold on to that information and then pull it back out of your head and get it down accurate is the reconnaissance patrol, the close target reconnaissance, where you've gone in, you broke down into your, your recce team and you're probing into that enemy position and circumnavigating as much as you can round it, probing in, coming out, probing in, picking up information in your head, coming out all the way around. A lot of information can be gathered that way uh, and it's a lot to remember. You're looking for things like numbers, weapons, insignia, badges of rank, morale, any vehicle mounted weapons, all, all that sort of good stuff. And you've got to retain all that in a close target reconnaissance. You've got to pull out of that area, back to an RV where it's safe enough to get down in a huddle and relay that information that you've seen to other members of the patrol, or maybe if you've got time and it's, it's a safe enough position to do it, record it and get it down on paper. So you get back to your base location and send that uh, recce report up with all the info to the uh, people that need it. So what we're mainly talking about now then is the observation side of it, and not how to observe, but how to help yourself learn to remember what you've seen and record at a later date. And it's quite a simple way of doing it. It's a small game, a lot of you have heard of it, Kim's game. Um, it's Cub Scouts use it, kids have used it, the Army Cadets, most of you have heard of it. But if you haven't, or you want refreshing on it, Kim's game's a bit of a laugh. And I thought what I'll do today is we'll run through a basic run of Kim's game. And if you want to join in now, you can. So. Go and get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil. Write down the left-hand margin of your piece of paper, 1 to 10, because I'm going to have 10 items. Pause the video now. Go and get your bit of paper if you want to. And you're back. Good. So if you've got your piece of paper to join it in, don't touch your piece of paper at the moment. I want you to uh, leave it on the side. The next part now is where we're going to observe. So let's, uh, let's, bin let's take you around this way. So, here we go. So, underneath this, uh, underneath this Union flag, I've got 10 random items. In a moment, I'm going to pull the Union flag to one side and I'll give you a 30-second exposure of those 10 items. 
as I say, don't write anything down. Just observe those 10 items, commit them to memory. After 30 seconds, I'll cover the union flag back over and then I'll give you the next instruction. So first of all then, here's the 30 second exposure starting now. I can run through the items while you, we're waiting for the 30 seconds. You've got a silver compass there, a round of ammunition, a small battery, an artist's paintbrush, a candle, a pencil, a small screwdriver, a folding knife, a light bulb, and a padlock. I think I've covered all those. That's 10 items. So that is about your 30 seconds. I've been a bit generous, got over a little bit. We cover those items up now. As I say, don't as I say, don't write anything down yet. Now we're going to have a 30 second, roughly a 30 second soak period. And that's you just sitting there, keeping those 10 items in your head. At the end of that 30 seconds, which is coming up very, very shortly, I'll get you to write down as many of those 10 items as you can on your piece of paper. 30 seconds now, start writing. So write down, doesn't matter what order they're in, just write down as many of those 10 items that you can remember that were under the flag. And I've given you 30 seconds to do that, and you're now 15 seconds into that. So you've got another 15 seconds, and then uh, you put your pens down, and we'll go back, and we'll look, and you can see how many of those items you've remembered. The last five seconds then. Okay, let's go. Okay, the last five seconds. So, bam, stop writing. There's the items that I exposed to you. There they are again. Then the compass, the round of ammunition, small battery, artist paintbrush, pocket knife, screwdriver, pencil, candle, light bulb, and a padlock. Hopefully you got some of those down. So, as I said, it's a very, very simple little game. Nothing complicated about it, but I just wanted to give an example of how you can um, help to improve the, the way your memory of retaining what you've seen on a surveillance job and then put it down on paper. So it's a good, it's like I say, it's a game that you can play with your kids or with friends. It's like a little parlour game, really. Just wanted to give an insight to that. So that's all I've got today. I won't waffle any more. More videos coming up. We've got a challenge for this year, 2024 fundraising challenge that we're working on. We started planning at the end of last year. Um, I've now committed it to a charity. I'm just waiting for some answers back on them. Once I know it's going to be set in stone, like the other challenges that we've done, we'll make a challenge announcement so you know what it's doing, and then we'll get back into the training for that challenge, and you can follow us on that journey. Then obviously on the day of the challenge, um, We'll record it and you can see how we get on. Um, hopefully we don't bite off more than we could chew. So anyway, troops, thanks very much for tuning in as always. Give us a thumbs up if you can. Subscribe if you can. Until the next time then, let's tap.